Hi, this is Robert Tube. Today on the Hunter Call of the Wild, we're making our first guide for Redmond Tilly Coast. It's for raccoon dogs. Now, this is one of my most wanted trophy diamonds for my trophy lodgers, so I thought I'd start out. So, I've been doing a little prep work, checking where they all are. They're mainly in the bottom third of the map. Their drink need zone time is 12 at night till 3.30 in the morning. And what I found out, or what I'm finding out as I'm showing you now, is if you start at 12 o'clock, what will happen is the raccoon dogs need to travel to where the water is to drink. So you'll often find them like this, they're just traveling because we've just started during their need zone times. And what you want to do is give them at least half an hour. I start at 1 o'clock myself and then go to a 3.30, cover the areas I can, the lakes, and then swap, turn it back, and carry on my routes. I'll show you my route, my locations, hunt them in a minute. Let's just try and knock some of these down. Now I'm using a 243, it's up to you what gun you want to use. Let's go over some of the details for raccoon dogs. So they're only on a Remington to the coast at the minute. Drink needs own time is 12 at night till 3.30 a.m. They are a class two. The weight goes up to 10 kilos for them. The fur varieties include like brown, gray, black, white, orange, dark brown, piebald, and albino. The trophy scores, so diamond is 9.29, and they go up to level nine, legendary. <laughs> well, you're not supposed to be in this. We'll kill it anyway while we're here. As you can see, night vision binoculars are a godsend and really help, so make sure you got those on. So, as you see, when you visit these little ponds, lakes, especially near the start, it's very good. You find quite a few raccoon dogs. Now, you either find them singular, but mostly you'll find them with like a male and a female together in a group. Sometimes you'll get a few groups near each other, but uh, the smaller ones, I'm not bothered, I'm, I'm killing them. But what I'll tell you is, and I've found this quite a lot, is they've got like a hump in the back, which like sort of sinks in where the spine is. So you've got to watch that because if you just slightly miss, the lungs you will you'll ruin the trophy so just be aware of that i've ruined it already but uh, nothing special but uh, i did find a mythical a minute ago and i'm just seeing what's around this area but yeah diamond raccoon dog was one of my most wanted trophies from roman to the coast i didn't find one during the content creator weekend i did look though and uh, i was trying techniques in the day and at night to see what works best in the day left hand side especially i used to try 10 a.m in the morning and just running through the forest like where i am now and what happens is the raccoon dogs call out they give you like a warning sound so you can locate them with that so it's actually useful but at night you just run around the water during drink needs and times and they're, they're littered along the bank at most of these places especially down the bottom we'll go over tactics and where to start and i'll show you my route and um, with a detailed image and actually doing it so i'm just hoping we can get something nice but what is it um cap Kaylee and raccoon dogs they were my most wanted trophies so i've got a diamond cap Kaylee and now hoping to get a diamond raccoon dog during this guide but uh, what's been your favorite animals on river the coast i know everyone's loving it i've been hammering the black bears so it's been nice to come on here and have a little break i'm up to 300 now black bears i've collected every one it's time consuming it's it's a lot slower than like uh, white tail deer grinding for the great one or red deer grinding for the great one. I'm averaging about 30 bears mm, every about 40 minutes, I'd say, in a run. So that's not too bad. I've had two diamond black bears and I've had one troll. So hopefully we'll get something nice. But there was a detailed black bear diary out yesterday. Take, uh, take a look at that if you've already seen it really good and it explains why they've done it uh, why they chose the black bear is really good so we've just seen a level seven hopefully get better from there like i say i've already had a mythical in this run we just need that level nine there you go that's a seven i'd love to get an albino one of these as well i'll have to try and get some of the rares once we've uh, got it dialed in what i generally do is i'll make a guide and if i think i can make it better then i'll update it later on but uh, this is pretty consistent what I'm doing and you'll uh, find plenty of raccoon dogs at this time but remember start at one o'clock you need to give them that time to get to the lakes um, because like I say I've tried it already at 12 
and, and the locations and most of them are still roaming about trying to get to water but this lake's pretty good um, it's only a small one but you get quite a few here if you want any new guides making drop in the comments what you want it for and basically the one that's the most popular is the one I'll do next um, I have got lots of numerous guides and when things get updated I have to go out and uh, redo them if anything's changed and because of this update there's a lot to do so uh, don't worry I'll be getting around to everything it's just so much to cover so come on give us something nice nice rare or a diamond would be beautiful but what you've been hunting on Reverend Tully Coast have you had any trophies I think overall it's been one of the best updates that Call of Wilds ever had it really has been good oh we've got some uh, mallards on the ground that's different but we're after raccoon dogs but as you can see sometimes you get them singular just males or females and sometimes well you mainly get them in groups they like to be in like twos sort of like foxes really. okay now we're going to go over my routes and locations for raccoon dogs this should help you out a lot and how i go about grinding for them so i start on the right hand side as you can see and the red marker is the way I go the route and the white locations are all where the raccoon dogs are and where I go so basically it's the bottom third of the map those locations you can get some on the coast but that's exactly the route I actually use now the yellow lines are actually my favorite hotspots for finding raccoon dogs so my best locations are there but right at the start where I start my run those little ponds they're very good as well so try those but that is the route I do now I normally split this up into three runs so I'll do as much as I can till sort of about three o'clock then set the time back carry on a bit more we do like the middle bit and then set it back again and then I'll finish off near where the yellow area is so it takes me about three sort of time setbacks during that time so start at one hunt till about three three thirty reset it carry on and do that sort of route and you should find lots of raccoon dogs so i hope that helps now i've just come to one of my favorite locations i've shot about 60 raccoon dogs and lo and behold what i actually want is right in front of me let's see if i can find him there he is level nine legendary raccoon dog so hopefully he makes diamond i don't know if they control i'm sure they can but remember what I said, and I'll show you in a minute, on, and look at the trophy screenshot, if we get him. On the sort of back arch of it, there's a little dip on its spine, and it's exactly where the lung is. So you really have to watch how you're shooting with these. It's so easy to ruin the trophy. There was a female with him, but uh, I think that's scarped off. I've shot quite a lot of raccoon dogs here. I was on about it in my super guide, my uh, easy start guide. I've got a tent literally where I am. I walk straight here and they normally, if you come here in the day, they normally just stay and they run straight over this water. Um, numerous ones. I've shot like six to eight of these quite a few times in this little bay where I am now. You also find that brown bear are often in the same locations as uh, raccoon dogs as well. So that's a nice little tip. But will he make diamond? I hope so. We want him one of these for weeks. So. I try and really hard during the content creators weekend to get one, but I couldn't even get one over level seven, so uh, I wasn't having any luck. And I've been uh, black bear grinding for the great one for about the last four or five days. And it is a diamond, it's a big one as well, look, it's max weight, 10, 10 kilo. And it scores the perfect 10, so it's based on the weight really. So as you can see, diamond raccoon dog. It would have been nice if it would have been rare as well. <laughs> Can't have everything. But that is a great trophy, I'm really happy about that. I'm not sure where I'm going to put him. Um, Tzatziki Safari Trophy Lodge or Spring Creek Manor. Tzatziki is nearly full. It is, honestly. I've only got a few trophy plaques left, so we might be able to put him. I'll tell you where I can put him. In my bear room. I've got where I put the um, Cap Cayley last, the diamond one. There's a spot outside of him, so maybe I can put him there. So I've just come to this location. I can't believe it. The last lake on my run. And there is a legendary. <laughs> Gobsmacked. Literally just going to check here and then like done. That's the video, right? And uh, I've just looked over and there's a little party of uh, raccoon dogs. Like four or five of them over the bank. You don't normally find them on the left. They're just normally on this bank where I'm sort of looking at this lake. 
This is the very last lake I finish on as well. That's what's made it funny. I just thought, I've got a diamond, that'll do for the guide. You know, I'll go and make the rest of it. And then uh, I've just seen this one. The only problem with this, it's going to be quite a long shot. And as I said, you've got to watch it with these raccoon dogs and how you place your shots. You've got to be very precise or you'll ruin it. And uh, there's one sort of a, just at the side of it. And I'm hoping when I shoot, I don't, they don't move in front of it or the other one, the legendary move. So we could go round to it, but I think we'll just spook it. So that could be a nice broadside shot. So here it goes. I'm a bit nervous about this. And I hope we haven't spined it. It is Dan. <laughs> we'll soon see. The moon's out. It's shining on there. Maybe it's going to give me a look. Please, please, please be a diamond. Could we have another diamond raccoon dog? Not seen one. Just got two in a row. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Right. So here it is. By the magic of editing. We're, at, we're already at the trophy. It is. <laughs> Here's a diamond raccoon dog. So there we go. He's just over. He's not as big as the first one, but there you go. Two diamond raccoon dogs. Very happy about that. He's 950. But look at the shot. That's clean. I'm impressed with myself for that one. But you see the spine? It dips down near the lungs. So you've got to watch that. So that little hump they've got in the spine. It's quite easy to spine them or ruin them. But there you go. Diamond raccoon dog. So I hope you enjoyed the video. We've been making a guide for raccoon dogs. On Roman Tudy Coast, I'm Ron McTube. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Bye bye.